Of course, I will not get in, but this is a garage uh, in a Lochna, uh, right where the Blue Lagoon is. And yes, this is the thing. I uh, I don't pay no attention to this place here at all till just right now. Yeah, and right now I came here to hide myself because it's a storm outside with a lot of lightning. It looks like it's coming through and I'm going to give a few minutes to see what's going to happen with this storm. Well, the thing is that uh, it pertains to psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshir. Uh, she used to have her car, according to MK Ultra, parked and bicycle and stuff like that. Apparently, that's what they claimed behind this wall. Uh, I don't know how realistic this stuff is. I didn't even look what behind this. Wow, it's it's a big ass garage. This is big. Uh, till year, it was like a big dilemma about did I have to tell t till when this was parked. And I don't know, but something happened here in year 2000, something important. It goes way, way, way back in time. Uh, she also threatened me something that if she ever gets me inside of this garage and so on, la, 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 la. So it did have something to do with it. And I did saw her inside of this garage past uh, 2000. So the year that I would have to say, when was it? I would say that she probably started to rent her own place here in this garage. Uh, probably sometime like in 2000, something like this. 99, 2000. So that must be at 98, I think it was the father, mom, something like this, that they, were, they wanted to, to have for her parking and I think they started to rent here in this area here. So I think actually that she started to rent sometimes like since 98, 99, 2000. I think with her brother had something to do with it. Uh, and I think this might be actually even right now that she still might be renting this place. So the rain just started right now, but I was more concerned about uh, a thunder, a lightning. Well, I've seen enormous lightning tonight, too much action. Uh, I was going to wait at the Kirka Pharmaceutical at the bus stop, but you know what? Uh, they have a nice bench to sit and everything, but uh, it, it was just too nasty. This stuff was just too nasty. The police investigators, whenever they would take me, there would be a light thing and stuff. They would go ahead and they would take a cover right here. So something is saying to me that Tatiana still has her car parked inside of this garage. Something is saying to me that her car is parked inside of this garage. And is also something else that's saying to me that she used to own a Renault. Something with a Renault, I think it was a white car, Renault, I think. I didn't pay much attention to it, but somehow it, it came to me that, you know, maybe a Clio, one of those first Clios, maybe. I suspect something like that. Actually, I should really knew better than that because she was actually spending a lot of time with me Driven me about the car saying to me that I don't like her car and all kinds of stuff But this shit was so childish that I don't even know what uh... This is your welcome to Lochna Yeah, so I make myself welcome here of course, I'm going to have a light on here so that, that I can be visible to people. But this is the way it goes. She actually really, really drilled me on her cars. And I'm thinking about what kind of car she had. She had a... She had a car. She had a... It might have been. It might have been. It's... it's um, 
I, I am mistaken about this stuff. I am mistaken because because Cleo was too small. She didn't want to have a Cleo because of me. I was the one who protested Cleo. Oh, uh, this this stuff was so. Um, impossible to describe she didn't want to have a Cleo because of me she was contemplating okay but it was uh, mama mama give me this mama give me that so um you know what I, I think uh, when I think about all this stuff that she had uh, I, I'm trying to, to to recall what kind of cars they had. Like in, I think she had like a, a first car in '98, and that was actually a red, and it looked like uh, <laughs> you know, very difficult to to say. Um, I actually have to see what kind of cars they had in uh, in '98. My goodness, '98. Uh, it looked to me like a blue Astra or something like that, like a blue or red Opel Astra or something like a hatchback, something like this, or because they didn't have McGuns back there, right? I mean, at least I think so, or I, I don't know what kind of cars did they have. Yeah, I would have to go over and see that stuff, but it was something like this. It was like a hatchback uh, and... Uh, the size of the hatchback was like a um, like an Opel Astra or um, you know Opel Astra comes to me like the most uh, I don't think we had a Kia's here Kia no no not that long um, something like a Opel Astra you know something like that no, thanks to this garage here, I also remember uh, her brother, Moore, uh, he moved from the building where they are at and made family for himself and he moved toward uh, probably maybe this building here, which is where the garage starts somewhere uh, behind, something like that. Now, I don't know, maybe maybe actually yeah i would say that right here along as you go right behind this kirka pharmaceutical um, actually uh, maybe even further down uh, maybe uh, because he was coming in the garage from the other side he was coming from the gar into garage into this garage he does have a car here also uh, from this side from the other side he wasn't coming from from this direction here where the petrol station is right there uh gas station uh there is more to this shit. Uh, do not uh, it was a police advice also not a police advice but some people advised me do not under any circumstances stay inside of this garage there's so many memories inside of this garage there was so much shit that went on inside of this garage Tatiana told me, well, you're going to remember this place and this and that when it's going to be all too late for you and for me and so on. Uh, she knew how to fake really so good. Uh, then a police altercation with me took place here at this loading dock area with Mr. Pevets involved in it, with police involved in it. On several occasions, they had me right here at this loading dock for which they insisted me that I should actually even place the camera someplace, step on, out on a clear side and video record myself upon their meeting and so on. This was one of the points for the police uh, anticipated they would develop this into, uh, into, into a problem, basically, into, into a altercation with me, just as they did along the Kirka uh, River near a torch it's at the top of order um, they had several locations they created like simulation of the altercation with me bullied harassed and so on intimidated insulted 
insults. That's what they do during MKUltra. They insult a lot because when they meet you in real time, they want to get, um, you know, some kind of feedback from you. Uh, the cars in Slovenia, police cars, do not video record stuff. This is not like in the United States when police officer stops you and says to you, uh, step in front of the car, yeah, and we're going to do the alcohol test or whatever. Uh, this is different. The cameras, which they have them inside of the cars, however, are private cameras from the police officers themselves to protect their ass. Uh, state, which should be required to have cameras mounted inside of the vehicles, does not have. Slovenian state deliberately doesn't have any video cameras inside of the cars. Uh, so it's all kinds of stuff. Her brother was really... Mm, he didn't like me at all. You know where he lives? He must... he lives at this building here. He must be right this building here, at this side here. Uh, and he purchased this building, the uh, apartment inside of this building. They would not go from here, both. Tatiana and he loves this place here. This is like... They grew up here and they feel like this is their uh, Fort Knox. Safety, basically. Safety. Um, he is a university degree guy. Uh, also has a university degree. They purchased the apartment. Uh, sometimes I estimate probably he purchased... Uh, parents helped me uh, help him purchase. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I would go to probably about. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my vote into this issue, and we'll probably go for like uh, to somewhere between 2004 and 2008, and it probably is closer to 2008. Something like this, I would go. It's very difficult to know because it will go all kinds of stuff. He left. Uh, it was also time when he left and so on. And I don't know what he was. Maybe he, uh, university or military or whatever. Because I, she was involved in this case since my childhood. Both. She and brother. And so... Uh, when it comes to the family, because he's a married man. He's got a family. And he lives here behind this building. But I don't understand the fucking guy, because he didn't want me anywhere near here. On the other hand, he was giving me a backup about where he lives and so on, which didn't make any fucking sense. I mean, these are the weirdest people that I, I just, I don't understand any of it, because it's a little bit is like this, a little bit is like that. And so, sometimes he was... not happy to have me around and sometimes uh, he was pleasant i mean so this is this is uh he was actually quite good educated he was quite good educated but sometimes he would he would just snap you know just like ding like you would twist the the button or something like you would switch between the fm and am uh, radio station or something like frequency basically Psh. very very temperament I remember him I remember him now really good he has got he's got apartment he's got apartment I would say uh, quite high up you know the uh, top floor uh, I think below the top floor I don't know how many floors are here and he is also on the side of the Kirka River. He also get to see the Kirka River. So he, he is here behind this, behind this uh, Kirka, uh, amb not ambulance, uh, but uh, Kirka medical facility, whatever. Uh, I don't know how, what the fuck the name is this here. This is a uh, center for something, whatever. There was a lot of violent thugs inside of this garage. There was violence in here. There was very bad stuff here that went on. I had a very bad memories in this place. There was all kinds of stuff that went on in here.
So I, I just, I just, I just had to step here inside of this garage, and it's a whole, the whole fucking new book opens up. Everywhere you go, it's like you would just, all of a sudden, you see through the years so many things. And some of the right now, I am full of uh, all kinds of memories again about this place here. Or you meet a person and it's the same shit, it's the same thing. You all of a sudden it just, it rewinds all the memory about all kinds of issues involving it. So that's MK Ultra, that's how it works. Maybe I am gonna take my shot and uh, it looks scarier, the rain. Uh, the lightning is past me, that's a good thing. And so maybe I just go home, but I'm going to be wet if I do this. Um, they're parking, right? They're parking. Their parking should be... I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be talking about this stuff. I know where the parking is, but I'm not going to be doing that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not, it's just not, it's not something I should do. So I'm not going to be doing this. So yes, I know where the parking is. I know the whole fucking thing now. Oh, this is a fucking horror. Eh? I gotta get out of here anyways. Unbelievable. Got stranded by the rain and uh, flooded with the memories, basically. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for the rain to go past and as I thought about all this stuff memories about this Tatiana Proksha oh, this is incredible uh, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna stop here and I'll go over with the camera to demonstrate this because there is little you can see here in the daytime but I remember her she was 14 years old 14 years old this was this was an eighth grade of the grammar school and um, it was a lot of troubles because of me. She said, this troubles started when I was, when she was like 12 years old and 13 years old. And she claimed that I did something that I did. I don't know what, what I did. Um, Uh -huh. Yeah, it's possible that I didn't want to have anything to do with it because um, simply I was looking forward to, to Slovenia and it's very, very likely that because of so much torture that went on he was involved in torture. One thing, her father was involved in torture. And I might have said something to him about his Serbian background, whatever. Just I would not even know what this guy, who this guy, where this guy from, whatever. Uh, because I, would, I didn't pay this attention to the stuff like that. But if, and he did bad stuff to me. Uh, did tell me that he is a Serb, whatever. I did triggered stuff against him based on his Serbian background during MK Ultra, and she learned about that stuff when she was like 12 years old and she, because I remember that she would say you did that again you did it again uh, the thing is that this is this is a 12 year old child and 13 year old child finally and 14 year old child and it was big crisis according to her in the house when she was like 14 year old and she talked started to talk to me when they would deliver me talking about the police and about psychiatrist cops along here she would meet me outside like in the evenings and started to stress anger on me and started to stress anger on me that uh, maybe she acted like very very stressed out 
and saying to me she will never forgive me and so on mention to me that the parents might go apart they will go separate and then it was the mother the one that uh became pissed off completely because it was the father her father it was that separated he left home uh she became mad about this whole thing uh, there was actually really a war between the two that exploded with mother siding with me supposedly this was the side of the story His mother is slovenian um and um He left home, uh, Tatiana promised me that she's going to decapitate me. Um, that must have been sometimes like in first grade of, of the high school or sometimes does that happen. If not in an in a, in a eighth grade in a, in a, in a grammar school. No, maybe even seventh grade of a grammar school. Between seventh grade and the first grade of uh high school seventh grade of grammar school and first grade of but this is so long 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 ago i mean this is like wow um that's crazy man that that i pull this stuff out this is crazy this goes to year maybe 93 i don't know it goes like really really uh We're talking about more than 30 years ago. And um, this is what's so fucked up is the mom was the one that told me with a psychiatrist caption with the police that, that she is not angry about me because I will marry Tatiana. Which was like, to me, this was like... I don't know, like somebody would take a hammer and, and, and smack me real hard on my head. Because the thing is that inside of this household, inside of this area here in the Blue Lagoon and stuff, there was so much violence that went on. Slovenia finally became independent. So this must go even, finally became independent, probably. I would say this was like year... You're probably talking about 1991, I would even say. Um, that I was really, really, really happy, really, really looking forward to um, 93, probably, I would say. Yeah, 93. 93, I would say. I, I was really looking forward to the freedom. I did not even thought about getting married like what i mean uh, first of all this is crazy because this is child right that's one thing and the second thing is oh i asked her how old how old are you even i asked her how, how old are you and she was like I, i'm in the sixth grade of the grammar school and i was like uh or fourth grade of the grammar school I, i'm now in a fifth grade of grammar school and I was like, I didn't say anything, but you can imagine it, it. You can imagine this is crazy, right? When when child is saying to you stuff like this, that's crazy. Being surrounded with the police officers, with the psychiatrist that contemplates on nothing other than causing you harm in a rough neighborhood which this city was this torture went on from house to house from building to building here in the in this blue laguna and house to house throughout the city and you're saying something like this to a dog he would definitely believe that that you tried to kill him 
because it's not realistic. It was even difficult for her to say, like, I'm in a fourth grade, and I'm in a fifth grade now. I'm in a sixth grade. Hello, it's me again. Uh, yeah, I I'm now in a fifth grade. I mean, you're fucking dating child, basically, that is eight years younger than yourself, who is convinced that this is going to be a wife. So this is like... This is, excuse me, but this is a serious, serious what the fuck moment. You cannot take this seriously other than somebody trying to get rid of you. And yeah, the people like the police, psychiatrists and stuff like this. That's a very serious, serious stuff. Very, very unpleasant stuff. I did try to notice even, see if she is laughing about it. And... She did giggle with her friends, like, but she was fucking taking it seriously, man. You know, this is, this is the stuff that's really not funny when you think about it. This is horror. And when I think about it, that, that she told me, you know, now the parents are separating and stuff like this. This is like, MK Ultra is a trauma. The second word for MK Ultra is a trauma. And so when, when you go and, and this kind of stuff is happening all around you, then you have a child saying to you now that you're guilty for their parents' divorce and she's never going to forgive you and stuff like this. You, you know, with so much bullshit that you're surrounded with, of course you're not going to go and, and take this stuff seriously anymore because it's just it's just... Like you would put more and more oil on the fire, basically. And that's what I think it was. Psychiatrist Kopsch was just, he was, she was just shining. He was shining about this. He became her mentor, her advisor, her personal uh, psychiatric psychologist, uh, uh, future education career advisor. So, man... Uh, he started to groom basically from child uh, evil that would a woman that would grow into a woman and basically destroy me get me killed basically this is why she was like a robot basically this was like a robot uh, this was a this was a death waiting to happen this was an accident waiting to happen a death in making this diff video is definitely going to the internet because it's so, so interesting stuff that I'm thinking about. What the Yugoslavia, what the search, what the Yugo, what the police station here in Novo Mesto, psychiatrist cops, Udba people, basically, KGB was preparing for me a fucking misery, basically, to be. Not life, but misery to, to be. I mean, this, this is as fucking miserable as possible. Imagine, country finally liberates itself, becomes independent, and you're now actually in a cir encircled with worst of the worst around you, basically just gathering and just uh, laying down fundaments to, to cement you alive. And this is what they told me they are doing. They didn't hide their intentions. MK Ultra is not only trauma, MK Ultra is a perversion. This is about the perversion. It's like for the perverts. That's why I say it's a very, very pedophile, pedo type of stuff. Because you have a perversion, you have a people totally perverted saying to you what they're going to do to you without you having any capacity to act against, report to police, take action against, because it's police that is enforcing this this type of crime basically this is the way it goes yeah i don't know there is a vehicle that goes what i'm actually thinking about is that like a fire rescue I, I don't know because it was like a blue light right there that was and that's a fire station right there behind this graveyard 
and I was gonna go and video record him. I don't know what the fuck he was doing there with the blue light and stuff like that. He is not allowed to use any kind of blue light unless he is experiencing some kind of emergency and stuff like that. Does not have the right to use blue lights.